Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I have a collective haul. I have um, an order that came in from uh, AliExpress and it's kind of small because there were certain things that I needed. And um, then I ended up picking up uh, something from Anna um, from My Crafting World Designs. And at Hobby Lobby, I was looking for something specific and I ended up picking, seeing something else on the way out. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I had to go to Walmart, um, you know, just supplies. And I cannot go to a Walmart that I haven't been to. That's kind of like a bigger one than the ones near me and not look at everything because certain Walmarts have different stuff. Believe me, they have different stuff. So I was, I had to go down another aisle because they were moving all kinds of stuff in the center. So I went down another aisle and you guys, I found these beautiful, two beautiful lampshades and they have roses on them. And my curtains have purple roses and it's like a tan background like this, but they have purple roses and there's green in there and stuff. And so I was like, oh my gosh, these are absolutely beautiful. I love these. So uh, not only were they beautiful, but they were only $7 each. I was like amazed because they were on clearance. So I had picked those up. I just like, oh, it was just the day to be there. It was just awesome. And, um, okay, and so when I was at Hobby Lobby, I was looking for the shiny paper because I looked at, for it at Michael's first, couldn't find it, and so I went to Hobby Lobby. They had four sheets, and all four sheets were a disaster. They were either all bent up or all scratched up or both. And so as I was walking out of the store, I came across these. I think this area, these are in the area usually where they sell the wedding items because I did see a lot of wedding items in that same section that they, you know, just had everything there. So I picked these up. I don't know if I have these polka dots that are almost ready to be gone because I have tons of polka dot ribbon, but... Um, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to run out of these colors because these ones I absolutely love right here for Halloween. And sometimes I like to add yellow for Halloween and sometimes I like to add pink. So I just love these. So I almost got the purple, but I didn't. Um, I just I decided to go with these colors. So I got those for $1.49 each, which I thought was a great deal. Um, oh, I'm sorry. While I was at Walmart, I had never seen this at my Walmart. Um, just a little jump ring set. I think this was like five dollars. Um, it was four something, four ninety something. And so I picked this up because um, I've been running out of my jump rings. I don't even remember what size, but I know it's uh, two sizes. So I picked this up. I also got these ones because I love the little design around the edges. It almost looks like a little rope design. So I picked those up. And then I needed some more eye pins for projects. So I picked up the, um, I went ahead and picked up these ones. They had, what are they called? The flat, I don't know if they're called flat heads. I forget what they're called. But they had the other ones in gold, but I, I wanted, I like the ones with the loops, so I don't even have to worry about making more loops. So um, I did pick up those. Um, I did get some of these, they call them fish hooks. I didn't know that, but I call them earring hooks. Um, I did pick up some of those. And then I picked up some of these because I picked up these in the past before, but my favorite are these little disco balls to use. And these are like $4 or $3.98. And, um, so I wanted the little pink ones and, um, and I figured they're probably cheaper, but then again, I could be wrong. I thought maybe they would probably be cheaper than the ones at Hobby Lobby. Plus I was already there and I didn't have to waste the gas to go to Hobby Lobby again. So I went ahead and picked those up. So that's everything that I got from Walmart. Okay. And then the items that I picked up from Anna um, I did pick up this pocket letter die. I have one that I got from Nurse Tara um, that is a, oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to call her back in a moment. Sorry, Jess. Um, so I ended up picking up this one and the reason why I picked it up, because the one I do have, um, 
uh, only has the border and this one had the smaller little area so if you wanted to you can make a pocket with this one or you can put an extra little frame on there and then there is also a stamp one that I thought was cute that I don't have in my stash so I went ahead and picked that up um, Poochie had mentioned once, once Anna gets rid of her dies, once they're gone, they're gone. So I was like, I got to get that before it disappears. And then Melissa, my enabler. I love Melissa. I mean, how can you not love Melissa's channel? I mean, she's an amazing crafter, um, Melissa Carroll. She had shared, um, these retro flowers that she had put together. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get that. And um, so um, I will link Melissa's video down below with her retro flowers. Um, so adorable. So I got those. And then, I don't know if the rumor is true, guys, but I heard that Heartfelt Creations may be going out of business or they just not might not be, be sold anymore. Things are, might not be sold anymore. So I did pick up the poinsettia mold. Um, I do not have this one in my stash. So I picked up this one, and um, and I'm so happy I did. So yay! I don't, I can't tell you how much it was. I think I want to say it was about twenty something dollars, you guys. So, um, but I'm not positive. Um, I did pick up some dies also from AliExpress. Um, I got the one uh, that says Magical Times. It's a bag topper and this one is from KS Craft and I love the fact that this is magical so that I can use it for Halloween as well. Um, I did get, which everybody who's been following me for the longest time and poor Armin because I always gift Armin <laughs> nail file holders but I usually make my own nail file and sometimes I'll put the, the corners in and sometimes I leave them straight. You just It just depends what kind of mood I'm in. And um, I just decided just to go ahead and get this because it just seemed like it was a little bit simple, you know, to just go ahead and run a die through the machine. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked this one up as well. That makes a large book. I cannot wait to use the stamp market uh, stamp on here and die set that I have that says, um, what is this? It's a spell book. Yeah. This one has all kinds of different words, which are awesome. It says, um, if I can see it right, it says happily. It's a story after family, hour and ever. Um, and then there is a really pretty bow on here. You have the seam or the edge, um, or yeah, the edge right there. Um, and then you have the little notches so that this is perfect. So if you're making an album, um, you know, out of um, different dies that you have. Now I have these little pieces. I've never owned these little pieces to be able to make a, a project into an album. So now I have them. And then one says baby and another one says album. So that I love. Then I ended up picking up these words. I can't remember what they said, but I knew one of them said magic and I was thinking Halloween for that one too. So you have magic, you have happiest, you have place. Um, you have princess, you have rides, and you have castle. So, oh, you could put magic castle together. Ooh, the happiest magical castle. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I just thought that was neat. Or for my Harry Potter pictures, I could put um, uh, the happiest magical place. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I thought those were pretty cool. So I picked up those. Okay. And then um, I picked up, I'm doing an 80s theme kind of project, some 80s themes projects. And I had, had found a sheet that showed a bunch of these little cassette tapes. So I cut these, I cut the, well, first I cut the cassette tape out. Then I put it on 110 pound cardstock and then I fussy cut them. So I thought these were really cute, but they're a little bit bigger than what I was anticipating them for. Um, but they're still super cute, these little um, cassette tapes. So I ended up ordering these, and these are supposed to be um, cupcake toppers. They come with a cupcake um, pick, and then they also come with little stickers and the little designs that came in here. You have the little record albums. And then you have the little cassette tapes, and then you also have little cute boom boxes. 
So I had picked up those, and I'm not sure if these are going to work. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to use these. Up. For what I was thinking, I don't think I'm going to do it, but I don't know. We'll see. Something's going to hit my head. Okay, and then um, because the 80s had strawberry shortcake and had little rainbow bright, um, this is what strawberry shortcake looks like if you're not familiar with strawberry shortcake. That's her right there. And then Rainbow Bright, this is Rainbow Bright, and I believe that is one of the sprites. And so this is the Rainbow Bright one that I ended up picking up. And I will tell you, you guys, the eyes were really wonky. <laughs> um, but what I ended up doing is I had a really fine um, tip paintbrush. So I just went in and filled the eyes with a little bit of black to get rid of that really standing out white that was in there and all of them so I fixed it so I got those because I'm going to see what those ones look like also as well and then um, I ended up picking up some of these little tents little charms I think they come in set of 10 I thought these were darling and then I got these darling little carousel horse ones aren't those so cute love them and I've been noticing there's carousel horse uh, dies coming out again so I thought that was cute. And this one, for me, this is always cute if you put um, Dumbo with it. But that's just me. That's that's the Disney in me thinking. I did order some of these little mini heads that are um, have the little rhinestones. But these were supposed to come in pink. Um, but they came in red because I already have red. So I had ordered them in pink. And then I ended up ordering some more of the Mickey heads. Um, they came in a mixed uh, amount for a really good price. So I went ahead and got these versus pain. I think it was like 11 something for 20. So I ended up just getting these at a better price because I only needed a few. And then um, I ended up picking up these cute little charms that are little Harry Potter uh, based charms that says, I'm so I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. So I picked up those little charms. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. No, I think the writing's a little bit too small to focus well. I'm sorry. And I have a good camera too, so I don't know. Then I ended up getting these more 80s. Um, I got Mario Brothers. I mean Mario. And then I got Luigi. And honestly, I don't remember... <laughs> It's okay though. I don't remember if Luigi was introduced in the 80s or he was introduced shortly after the 80s. I don't remember, but I got him anyway because you gotta have one brother with the other brother. You can't leave one brother out. And then I ended up picking up some of those. Yeah, those are gonna be fun. So that is my haul, you guys. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And don't forget to add your own sparkle to everything you do. Okay guys, 